Nolting is just one point away from taking number 20 on the all-time points list for Division I lacrosse as a face-off violation. Starts things off. Duke will have the first possession opportunity to get on the board first. Yeah, they got a really strong first midfield line. Nakai Montgomery, Aiden Deninza, and coming out from the midfield right now is the freshman, McAdory. Here is Asher Nolting. He's going to move to the inside. Good ankle breaker. Nolting ends up on his back, and Duke with the turnover. You see there, Duke brought two or three on the slide there, so he, you know, pass got knocked down, but Asher keeps his head up. When you bring a couple, he's going to make you pay. And high point jumping into a 10-man ride here. Duke struggled a little bit versus Penn with the 10-man ride last week. Huge hit on the other side of the field. High point with the takeaway. Nolting with the shot. And Asher Nolting gets things started for us in Vert Stadium tonight. And, and that's just all effort in the ride game, creating that turnover. You know, Duke spread out. They're getting their guys on to clear the ball. You create a turnover there. There's a lot of space to make something happen. A huge hit there by Maia. Nolting fired up to get things. Headline for this high point team, as you would expect. But there are plenty of talented players around him, and he's going to find them when they're open. Adler makes a good save on Nolting. Almost fell backwards into the goal. Here's Duke on the clear attempt. Ledman gets doubled up, having trouble, doesn't make it to midfield. High point with a takeaway on the ride, a fancy flip, and they'll get settled down on the offensive end of the field. That's two ride backs here in the first quarter, just bonus possessions for high point. And if you want to knock off a top five, top ten team like Duke, you know, those are the kind of plays you're going to have to make to gain a few extra possessions, especially if you're struggling at the faceoff X. Then the ground ball win from Henry Mudliff, run away from trouble. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, a lot of times guys pick up that ground ball, they, they feel pressure, they want to go do something. He made a nice play. Just getting into space and allowing high point to get their personnel back on the field. Here's the Panthers, Ippolito on the far side of the field. He had a monster day against Navy as Nolting gets to the inside, and Asher Nolting has the second goal. Yeah, I think that was Brower behind. He was trying to stretch to him to make the ball tough to get the ball to Nolting, but he slipped a little bit, and Nolting is going to take advantage of that. You see him on the ground there, and he's running through a slide nine times out of ten. His shot. Rizzo's going to take a run. Duck back to the inside. Rizzo finds the twine, and High Point has a 3-0 lead. <laughs> Certainly, you know, Nolting's not going to get any credit for that goal, but you see they are slow to slide off of Nolting there. They don't want him to attack that backside, and it gives room to get underneath and bury that. Well, four goals lead will do that to you. Here's Duke working up top, Nakai Montgomery. Added to the Tawarton Award watch list, along with O'Neill and Asher Nolting in this game. And this zone defense has Duke a little bit stifled. They're starting to get the ball side to side now, but had the ball on one side of the field there for the first 20 seconds. Montgomery with a step down. He finds the lower corner, and Duke is finally on the board. And, and he did a lot of work from that spot against Navy last week, that low wing. You know, he was really getting underneath, getting back to his right hand there, but you see just a right to left split and a little bit too much room for a guy who's, who's got all American written all over him early in the season. I've had the opportunity to see 30 seconds on the shot clock for Duke. This is Lully on a short stick. He's going to be a tough matchup with that short stick. Moves it along, though. Duke finds the net again. Cam Bador makes it a one goal game. And I think with Lully on the short stick there, as we'll see on the replay, you know, that defender just steps down enough to try to stop him from getting top side, and it allows room for Brodor to get his hands free. And that's a man who could certainly score the ball. That the is one wide. more had Lully on that back pipe. Could have been an easy dunk, but good job getting back in the hole there. I believe that was Hunter Vine stopping that break. on with Denenza, Montgomery on the midfield line. Coming down across to McAdory, now to the inside, and Dyson Williams finds the net. Yeah, great play there by Montgomery. You know, he had a short stick. They knew, he knew they were going to slide quick with a pull. Ball on the ground and hopefully create some transition for high point. 
Little mishap in the zone there. It's got right in the gap. The defense didn't communicate who was picking up the ball. Mitchell was wide open for that shot. Sailed it high over Parker Green. Now 20 seconds on the shot clock. Duke's going to take about two of them. Sean Lully just turning the corner. He's, like we said, such an elite attackman. You know, was an All-American at Penn a couple years ago. And, and really just a tough matchup. You know, 29 goals, 17 assists in 2019. Now he's going to roll back behind to his normal X spot, which is not where the Duke defense wants to see him. Van Overbeck working. Ten seconds on the shot clock for the Panthers. Maia on the spinning shot. He's a highlight machine. He's already got a Sports Center top ten play this year. The spinorama. He finds the net. Take a look at it. And Ned, if you can, break it down for me, because I don't know how to. <laughs> I mean, it, it's really just two guys who know each other well, and Nolte knows. Here's the Duke offense to get to work. Here's Montgomery on the close side. He's got a shorty. Draws the slide. Ball hits the ground, and Duke recovers. Quick moves to the inside, and a mom goal as it hit the side of the net, and the Duke fans started cheering. I don't know, that's, you know, you, you cheer for that one in February. You know, we're into March now. <laughs> we, we, we've got to have our goal eyes correct at this point. Duke's already played seven games so far this year. This is their eighth matchup. And, and I, I love, you know, we asked Coach Naska about that. He said, he said, you know, players love to play, don't they? And, and it's so true. And, you know, he talks about, you know, you got, you got six weeks in the fall. You know, if, if you, you know, throw the ball away, shoot it the wrong way, approach a guy the wrong shoulder, that, that's not a practice thing. That's, you know, just got to execute. High point, execution. back up on the board. Jack Sawyer has his first goal as a Panther. Yes, yeah, Sawyer, you know, Under Armour All-American, played at Maryland, was at Maryland, you know, got a chance to come here, kind of revive that career, and, and he's going to be a problem for the SoCon. Nolting, of course, created the offense. Sawyer had a little bit of trouble. He's going to start from the corner. Go to Asher Nolting. Nolting's going to wrap around his bounce shot. And Nolting has a hat trick in the first half. Asher is a tough guy to slide to. He does such a good job of fading deep to X and then catching the ball, moving towards goal line extended. And, I mean, it's it, it's almost like a kickoff return. You got a guy running full speed. You're there with your feet set trying to stop him. And, and Nolting is not a guy who can be stopped. Time for tournament to get in. So just, just prepping for these games. Letting you know what you're going to see is, is going to make a big difference come May. Here's McAdory. Off the pick for Montgomery. Nothing there. 35 on the shot clock for the Blue Devils. McAdory with a spin to the inside. Huge step down shot from McAdory. Wide open. Duke takes it to a one goal lead again. Yeah, McAdory just keeping the ball on his stick there, running through a slide. I think they slid to him a couple times. That last one, he saw a short stick sliding to him, and he wasn't worried about a short stick. It's a pass that gets knocked down. Duke now with 30 on the shot clock. You know, neil has been pretty quiet. They get a look inside. Oh. oh, the backhand dump from Grant Mitchell. Duke ties the game on a pretty goal. Yeah, that was that was fantastic, and you know they, I think they had Mitchell inside a little bit earlier in this quarter. They threw it a little bit high there. That, that's a really crafty finish. We'll see it here on the replay to to really come with that kind of twister finish there. Really, I mean that's a that's all the way around twister there. Back at the X, ground ball fought for. It's gonna be won by Duke. Naso with the win. He's gonna go to the inside. Duke is up by one. And here it is, right? Game of runs. Quick 3-0 run for Duke right out of that timeout to respond. The face-off guy there, I mean, he, he's really strong on the, on the ground. He's got almost 50 ground balls coming into today's game. So not only is he winning it, he can win this Duke low. Duke now a little slower. Yeah, this low right wing is where he does his damage. They got a short stick on him. You can see they're, they're ready to pre-slide with a pole. So see if he can see through the defense like he did on that last one. Montgomery to the middle of the field. Gets a shot off. And Nakai Montgomery has his second tonight. Yeah, and there they were slow to go, or you know, they really didn't go. When he got downhill, his shoulders started getting towards the end line instead of the sideline, and that allowed him to generate a bunch of power. I think he put that one offside hip, which is arguably the toughest save in lacrosse. Nakai Montgomery. Good eyes. <laughs> you see him. 
about three minutes left to play in the half. As High Point finds the net, Jack Sawyer notches his second. You know, it looks like they're beating Adler a little bit on these bouncers. You know, Adler not really getting out to the ball, kind of plays heels on the goal line, tight to the goal, and these bouncers get up on them. They get into the body. It's tough to make a save if you're trying to use your hands. Sawyer was so far for A lot of time left. That was going to be a low angle shot. Here's Kobe Russell, close side. Feed to the inside. Sawyer with his third. I Tie game. do not know how that pass got through and certainly how Sawyer handled it, but that's confidence in your teammate. Just, just saying, hey, he's cutting there. I believe he's going to make a play. Let me put it on a stick, and that's exactly what happened. It shows you how much the momentum can swing. How Lito now for the Panthers. He'll work it behind. Here's Van Overbeck. Now Sawyer up top. High point on the board with Nick Murphy. High point takes the one goal lead. And maybe more important is that Duke is still in the box for 21 seconds. Yeah, you saw there, you know, they pushed to the left side, threw back to the right side, sent two cutters down to the crease. Forced that Duke defense to collapse inside, opened up the wing shot there, and a great job of sticking that shot overhand to that far corner. Adam. Parker Green, you can tell, is such an emotional player, too, an emotional goalie. He gets really fired up when he makes those big stops. Yeah, and you know, I mean, the, the bench and the defense feed off that. You know, the goalie is the heartbeat of your defense, and Nakai tries to stab him in the heart right there, shelfing one. Nakai Montgomery with a hat trick now as he ties the game. The shot placement here is unbelievable. And just too much space. They've been guarding him with a short stick all game. And I, I think the plan coming into the game, he was one for three. He'll lose this one. Duke going to go quick. Naso Green with a great save. Duke picks it up on the doorstep. I think it was Lully who picked up that one. And that's just a tough break. I mean, that, if you're high point, that's what you want. If they're going to get a four on three off the face off. Make the face off guy take the shot. Don't leave one of these lethal attack. But unfortunately, just a rebound that the high point defense couldn't find. And any rebound in front of the goal is a tough one. You know, some people call that a junker goal. In my opinion, they all look like 12 yard hammers in the scorebook. You can see how far out he takes it to X. Yeah, Rizzo's been behind the goal a decent bit here with Nolting. Hasn't. Created a ton, does have a goal though. Here's Hunter Vines. He has yet to find the net this evening. Yeah, Vines is a, he's a speed guy. He's gonna try to get to space. Nice look inside. Jack Sawyer! Low corner. And if you have a guy like Sawyer who can finish inside and, and he can match the finishing ability of Brandon Maia. Under 20 on the shot clock here. See what kind of offense they run. They're gonna go. Pick game behind. Green almost got caught outside the goal trying to make a play, but saved. It looked like it might have been right off the shin. Excellent save from Parker Green. Fresh 60 on the clock for the Blue Devils. Duke finds the net again. Lully. Yeah, you know, that, that's two for Lully coming from behind those low angle shots. You know, some guys just are skilled where they're, you know, they, they get a step or two above GLE and they just know where they can bury the ball. And Lully's done that twice today. He's really starting to fit well into this offense. I wonder if this is going to be one of those three goal runs and then we're going to go back to the other side. Duke hasn't led by more than two in this game. Yeah, you know, Duke, I think they're on a 4 1 run right now. And, uh, you play in the third quarter, Duke with a two goal lead over High Point. Here's O'Neal now to the inside. His shot just behind the cage. We had a really good angle on that one. He about tucked that one right next to Parker Green's ear in that top right corner. O'Neal still looking for his first one today. And they're, you know, they're really forcing him to either you know, sweep to the sideline, shooting it with his left hand, or go down the alley and take it with the right hand. So he just hasn't had a lot of either set shot feats or a lot of angle on his shots. Caputo. Couple of good moves, couple of quick passes. And Dyson Williams back up on the whole thing since the first quarter. As he's got the ball now spinning and trying to get toward the middle of the field. He'll roll back, go lefty, look to go righty. Huge collapse in the middle of the field. 
Yeah, I thought he maybe should have taken that one when he got back to his left hand about five yards above. Tried to get to the middle of the goal, and the Duke defense collapsed on him, but I think we're going to get a reset. Withholding on Duke. High point will get a fresh 60 to work with, and Sawyer has it in the corner. Good break for the Panthers. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I mean, it's they collapsed on him, and High Point did a good job of, of getting after that ground ball, not letting Duke get it out easy, and it gained him an extra possession, and they take advantage. Van Overbeck finds the net for the first time today. Comes in with three goals this season, and this is a big one for him tonight. Yeah, and I mean, really the first time they've taken a short stick from behind to get above the goal so far today. They've tried to use him a lot in pit games, I think, trying to get switched. Here's Caputo on the far side now. Gets a switch with a short stick, see if he gets anything. You heard the... He's 15 on the clock for the Blue Devils. High point sideline call and hockey stop roll when Caputo had the ball. They got that scout on 13. See Parker Green nice and far out of the cage. Five seconds on the clock for the Blue Devils. They'll get the shot off. And, I think and it does go in. Lully just dropped that right over Green's shoulder. You know, Green's been coming out, playing on that high arc for these inside shots. And Lully kind of just patient with it. And he just kind of almost just floats it. Right over him, kind of had Parker Green a little bamboozled there as that ball just. Become big after every goal. So Duke gets restarted after their timeout with McAdory in the corner. He had 25 seconds on the shot clock to get started, down to 15 now. Denenza on the far side, has a shorty up to Montgomery. Montgomery finds the net. Huge goal for Duke. Now, a great throwback. We've talked about it. Montgomery scored right-handed, left-handed from the wing off a of dodge. He steps into that one. You know, he's, he's made the hockey assist play. He's, he's really been the guy for Duke today. You know, we said in the first half he was the only one with multiple goals. He's got that offside hip shot located. And you see the regular season last year, Duke won 27 to 8. You, you got to be pretty happy with the way you're playing here early. And there's the big face-off win they needed. Trey Smith with the pull. Goes in and grabs it. That's a huge, huge ground ball for this high point offense. And Asher Nolting now going to lower the shoulder. It looks like he wants to go quick. Hunter Vines. Vines finds the twine. And again, the bouncer. That's where they've been getting Adler all day. An unbelievable skip pass all the way across. You see Nolting, their eyes always up. A couple screens to shoot through. Dick D. Mitty, and, and he's been playing well all day long. Lully now at X, and you can see Parker Green is cheating out of the crease a little bit, under 20 seconds now on the shot clock. Yeah, he hasn't really gotten caught on plays like that yet. Lully good around GLE. Good cut from X. Dyson Williams beats Parker Green. And, and that's... That's really the perfect execution for Duke. That shot clock, I mean, there were seven seconds left when you score that. You're really patient. You don't get rushed. Dyson does a great job of curling up field and, and turning and shooting again. I mean, those those Canadian guys, those box guys could take change. it right now. Try and wrap around lefty. His shot looked like he stick got stick checked on the way in. Here's Nolting now to the inside. Maya. How does Nolting find that pass? And how does Maya run away? High point not giving up i mean that's that's just reps that's just trust that that's being out here i mean you like those guys probably come out and shoot together and just jam the ball inside to each other like that and we said it i mean if, if nolting sees my a stickhead open or as he gets wrapped up in the duke defense my goodness flag flies and you see a little bit of the emotion come out right at the end of the game as duke's going to celebrate the win they'll take this one over the panthers 18 to 14 as a little bit of extracurriculars continue after the whistle. And it looks like it's going to break up. P pretty good discipline, certainly by both benches there. You know, end of a game, you know, you, you get on the field to go get your goalie. Nobody left their bench, so they're getting it de-escalated. It, it, was, it was a heated back-and-forth game. It was certainly physical. You know, it's <laughs> that's if, if you're going to take down Nolting, it's, it's going to have to be a little bit rough like that. So... You can certainly understand why, why the high point guys wanted to make sure their leader was, was protected. 
Now the question is, is the is the game over, or do they add another second back onto the clock? I think for the, the greater good of everyone, you just you <laughs> go ahead and, and, and you get this one off. Let the teams talk. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we do have a final score here in Vert Stadium. Duke takes this one over the Panthers 18-14, to 14, and boy, was it a hard-fought matchup all night. Yeah, no, I mean, the Duke had to earn this win. High Point did, you know, just about everything they needed to win. I, I think ultimately it, it truly did come down to the face-off X. Um, just, just not enough possessions for High Point to make up. They, they took care of the ball. They cleared it well. They rode well. But when, when you just play that much defense, you know, you're going to have to, you know, be – extremely efficient on the offensive end. They kept Brennan O'Neill off the board all night long. Yeah, and, and, and that's, I mean, that's nothing to, you know, to, to not take a look at. I mean, that's one of the best players in the country. He had five goals against them in the regular season last year. So, you know, if, if he was on top of your scouting report, you got to feel really, really confident in what you did. And, again, I mentioned it. Zach Brentfleck was, was unbelievable guarding O'Neill all game long. High point's going to be a lot of fun to watch the rest of the season as they develop and get into SoCon play. But that's all we've got from you from Vert Stadium this evening as Duke takes an 18-14 win over the Panthers on the road. Both teams back in action 